Good afternoon, everyone. Massive power outage, Cuba. We've seen through history civilizations collapse, volcanic eruptions, floods, and now we see massive storms heading to the UK, 100 mile an hour winds. How prepared are you if your electricity goes out or your food supply ceases? Let's take a look at it. And you've seen this one making the rounds here. Cuba has the second failure of power after they've solved it, quote unquote, and then it failed the second time. Now they're going on four hour usage pattern across the island continuously, as far as we know, forever from this point. Now these 12 hour blackouts are now 16 to 20 hour blackouts, severe electrical shortages. Reasons the excuse they give, is it believable or is it current running through our crust that is disrupting, not insulated conduit? And the reason I bring that up is Hurricane Ashley. Hurricane force winds about to pound the UK, Scotland, Ireland under severe wind warnings and the rest of England going to get pounded also. Purple low is what you're looking for. And over on the right, you get that high pressure system very much like we saw with Helene blocking and locking. Here's what it looks like from the satellite imagery. They call that a scorpion tail. I'm very clear on what that entails and what it looks like in the center of the storm there. There's actual sting jet is the real name for that, but close enough. And some of the readings coming off of windy 174 kilometers per hour. So remember 160 kilometers per hour is a hundred miles per hour wind. And we see the sting jet right here. It's going to be passing all the way through southern England, going to wreak havoc. And there will be power outages as well. So several places on the planet experiencing this. Now, we've seen society taken down before by volcanic eruptions. That's just a normal one that absolutely disrupts the civilization. 535 AD would be a good one. That was a global. Most of them are more regional. So if Mount Washington were to erupt in the Pacific Northwest, what kind of regional effect would that have on our ports and shipping and also agriculture on the West Coast? Question. Because if we're looking at solar activity, another well-known collapser, if that's a word, of societies and civilizations of the time. Massive solar flares. Uh, you better be running for your dolmens. So the projected was the red line, and where we sit is the black line. Yeah, a little bit of disconnect there. Everybody got it wrong. But hey, let's try for solar cycle 26. See if we can improve the science at that time. So this last set of auroras coming in last week, airline pilot capturing this one. Spectacular photo. I'm glad some pilots are carrying cameras with them and notice that something is very different. These are just stunning images here. Higher up 40,000 feet in the air. Very little pollution blocking you. And then also the same pilot took this one here of Comet Atlas. So this is a photographer pilot that's just throwing it on. And we're seeing this. Comets are another well-known civilization destroyer. It turns out the key to losing weight and keeping it off is not carbs or fat or even probiotic rich foods. Nope. The end game of having a healthy weight as well as more energy and a long healthy life comes down to a specific switch which you can flip in your body to flush out unnecessary calories. Dr. Stephen Gundry is calling this caloric bypass and by activating this specific process in your body He's seen thousands, yes, thousands of people dramatically improve their health, even at age 50 and beyond. This includes losing weight, getting tons more energy, and returning to the good health that they had in their youth once they simply addressed this one key to better health. Dr. Stephen Gundry has lost 70 pounds himself using this research and has kept the weight off for over 20 years and counting. His digestive issues are gone. His health is fantastic and he feels younger and healthier today than he did in his 40s. His video has been watched by over 20 million people to date and you can watch and learn more about it at thehealthyfat.com forward slash adapt. And he'll teach you exactly how he's kept his weight off for free at 
thehealthyfat.com forward slash adapt. Click on that link in the description box below. And now on with the video. So everything's lining up. We got uh, the comets, the solar activity, the volcanoes, and the winds, and the floods, and here we are in the Amazon Basin LiDAR images for you. You wonder, what caused the collapse in unison across Central America, parts of South America, and we're finding this in the Amazon rainforest. And I would ask you to guess, where is this? Answer, the Forbidden City in Beijing. Looks like a circuit board for me, but just saying, it's very similar to Angkor Wat as well. Civilizations come and civilizations go. And that for sure is one thing repeated in history, the rise and fall of civilizations. Now, the causation is different each time, but there's many a cause for it that have been noted, studied, and then the fingerprint is there. So why do you think our world's changing so much at the moment and it's being forced for change? Perhaps those know that the cycle's inbound, and we are just going to work through it. But during this time, you know, you think about electrical production, food production, all being affected. So how prepared are you if the electricity goes down? Like in the UK, obviously they're going to come back and fix it days, weeks, but it's not going to be years. Cuba, on the other hand, might take months to years to get that fixed. What we saw in North Carolina, that might not ever come back. That is truly going to be months or years, if ever. So, you know, the, the range of scenarios of what you can prepare for, if it's never going to come back, you are going to have to have a completely different mind frame of life set, of life itself. If you can hold out for a week, two, or a month, and you know it's coming back, your life's going to be very different for that month, and you will be on your knees in thankfulness when the power turns back on. We're so reliant on it. Our civilization will collapse with no electricity. And every civilization collapses with no food. So that's the next thing to look at. Because central banks are worried about it too. Prices of food up and up. Shifting weather patterns, reducing crop yields, squeezing supplies. I talked about this for the last 10 years. We were going to get to this point right now where it would get so expensive and the crop loss is so numerous that you would spend so much on food that it would collapse the economy. There would be no extra disposable income. And governments would respond, which they are. And now central banks are worried about it too. Gee, who would have seen this coming? Argentina, 2023 on the left, 2024 on the right. And let's take a look at the Vaso Chico, 2023, 550 I do believe Argentinian pesos. And then if we jump over to the 2024 where it says Vaso Chico, central of the image on the board there, 3,500. Ouch, in the pocketbook. That's only a year of change. And the Mediano also, 650, up to 4,000, not bad. But when we're looking at the one kilo cucurocho, 3,200 or this year, 15,900. These are significant increases across the board. Are you ready for a 5X increase in a single year in your food price? I'm not either. But a shocking number of cafes and restaurants are closing. Remember, everybody was like using fast food as their backup. We can still get fast food. We can still get to the cafe. We can get the carry out. Maybe not anymore. Ireland's restaurant sector witnessing an abnormal level of closures. Well, this is a worldwide sweep of abnormal levels of closure. We're seeing it everywhere. And then, you know, pulling the food literally out of the ground. I know the grapes are made for wine, but that does constitute. It could be edibles if it were in a pinch. France removes vines. For 120 million euros, what they're going to do is pay the farmer to pull up all of these vines 30,000 hectares multiplied by 2.4 to get the acres. So we're looking somewhere around 67,000 acres or so. We'll call it an even 70,000 acres ripped up, never to be used again. And what's interesting, that is more than all of Switzerland's vineyards combined. And what they're going to do is they're going to pay out farmers every year not to grow anything any longer for this. So 120 million euros seems really, really, really kind of very low to tell a farmer Rip up everything your family put there for multi-generations or we're just going to give you a handout. I don't know where that's going to go to. But from Nature Supply Company, 
In the year 1800, 50% of Americans were farming. 1945, Victory Gardens, 45% of all food was grown in our backyards. Fast forward 2020. Is that 0.1% of the food comes from backyard gardens? Ay, 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 is all I can say about that. Statistically, uh, if you're growing food right now, you're in the top 1%. Wow. And the reason I would say something like this, global forex reserves dropping for the U.S. dollar to the lowest in 29 years. Like, people are ditching the dollar. They know this new gold-backed currency is starting to manifest over there in the BRICS nations. People don't have to use the dollar anymore. They're trading amongst nations. So this is going to be a mix-up in our economy as well. Because silver, interestingly, just hit 33.11. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, that was the closing price, 33. I could get, this is a signal for all of you out there looking for something. Signal, 33.11, that repetitiveness, and the 33 itself. I encourage you to look into the number 33. This is a sign from those on high, the game on. So this is the world we've moved into. We're not moving into it anymore. We are definitely smacked on the wall right now. You grow your own food. You know your farmers because food's going to get really more expensive. And if you can't afford it and you're stuck going to the junk food aisle, you see what's in there now. How's that going to work with your mental faculties? And how much energy will you have as you're trying to move through and do more tasks because our Delivery systems aren't working as much, and you're going to have to be more uh, self-autonomous for a lot of things that used to be just taken for granted, let's say. Will you be able to work in a community garden? I don't know. If you're just eating junk food, probably not going to have the energy. Just a personal thought. Just my own opinion. But, you know, this is the world we're at. There's so many changes coming in here. You know, just looking back in history, several thousand years, you start to see these fingerprints everywhere, and I'm starting to see the fingerprints again lining up here. Join us on... The new CivilizationCycle.com. That's our podcast, Civilization Cycle. Throw your email in there. We'll get you the show notes on a weekly of what we discussed during the episodes. And also join us on Telegram, also Civilization Cycle. If you're rocking Telegram, look us up there, Civilization Cycle. That are audio nuggets from the podcast as well as some graphics that a few of us are scraping from around the net that are valid and, and important that connect ideas over into Telegram. I do hope you got something out of the video. I appreciate your valuable time watching, sharing ideas. See you next time. Bye for now.